How do you define creativity? I define creativity as the ability to build something amazing from absolutely nothing. So an artist with a blank canvas or a writer with a blank page. But it's not just the building process that's creative. It's more than that. It's the idea behind the construction, that, that fragment of imagination that transpires into something wonderful. Do you believe creativity is a talent you are either born with or not? I believe very few people are born with a natural ability to create a masterpiece on their first attempt. Even the pros have to practice and hone their craft. I think some people are innately more creative than others. They think outside the box as a matter of course, rather than a conscious effort to do so. I know quite a few people like this actually, and I envy them to some degree because I'm not like that. Talk us through your creative process. Do you have specific habits or methods to get yourself into story mode or creative mode? My creative process relies on staying in the story, inside the head of my protagonist. If I don't, I lose train of my thought and then my inspiration disappears. So every morning when I sit down at my computer, I read my outline or the last chapter that I've written and pick up where I left off. If I've done my outline well, then I'm never faced with writer's block. How does your creativity affect your worldview? Do you sometimes think you see the world differently to others because of it? Creativity affects my worldview because I find plots in everyday situations. I question things in the news. For example, was the woman pushed into the path of the bus by accident or on purpose? Did someone in the Grenfell Tower fire want the world to think they were dead, but they were actually not? Is my neighbor digging holes in his back garden to bury bodies? It can be quite exhausting, but it also makes life far more interesting, I think. If you're feeling blocked, what gets you back into flow and being creative again? I don't ever feel blocked because I follow an outline when I write. I put a lot of effort into it, sometimes several months' work, sometimes several drafts, and uh, without it I'd be lost. The only time I ever struggle with creativity is if I've left a story for some time, then I find it quite hard to get back into it. When did you first realize you were creative? I first realized I was creative when I started writing. Uh, prior to that, I never thought of myself as particularly creative. I come from an overwhelmingly creative family, very artistic. My grandmother is a well-known South African artist, and my sisters have both followed in her footsteps. So I always thought I'd missed out on the creative genes. But once I started writing, I realized I was creative in my own way, different to everybody else. My creativity comes from being able to string words together so that they make up a story that's hopefully entertaining and worth reading. Did you first start creating and then realize what it was? Or did you observe books or art and decide to find out if you could do that too? I read fanatically as a kid, um, and I still do actually. I literally read one or two books a week, mostly crime novels, but also romance and literary fiction. One day I thought, you know, I'm sure I could do this. Perhaps I'll give it a go. And uh, I never looked back. What advice do you have for people wanting to be more creative? My advice is start somewhere. Start somewhere small. It doesn't matter how insignificant the creative thing you choose to do is. It will get your creative juices going and will lead to bigger and better creative endeavors. What do your creative talents give you as a human being? My creative talents enable me to spend my time doing what I love. It's a treat for me to sit down at my computer every day and write. I never get bored of it. To be able to make a living doing what you love is a very special thing and I'm very aware that not many people get that opportunity. So I feel very blessed to be in this position. How much would it matter if you couldn't get your creative works out there somehow? Even if my work wasn't published, I'd still be a writer. It's something that I've realized I can't not do. I've tried to give it up in the past. There was a time when I wasn't making much money for my books and I thought this is ridiculous. So I went back to work full time, got a sensible job. And yes, it was more lucrative initially, but um, eventually I went back to writing and I've done that several times over the, over the course of the last 20 years. Even if it's just a journal or a blog post, you know, my pen finds its way back to a piece of paper eventually and the ideas start flowing. So for me, writing, I think, is what I've been designed to do.